Hi everyone, welcome back today. Our recipe is chicken biryani. Okay, let us see the ingredients here. I'm going to use uh, chicken. It, this is around half a kg, and uh, rice. Uh, this is around one cup of rice. I'm going to soak this rice for next uh, 20 minutes. And for this biryani, I'm going to use uh, two tablespoon of oil and one teaspoon of ghee and yogurt, some chopped coriander leaves and mint leaves, chopped tomato chopped big size onion and ginger and garlic paste here i'm going to use crushed ginger and garlic around two tablespoon and uh, and green chili this is the masala i'm going to use one teaspoon of chili powder and two teaspoon of coriander powder and one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder and lime juice one lime medium size and a whole garam masala bay leaf uh, cinnamon cardamom cloves cumin and fennel seeds salt as per taste and saffron okay let us see how to prepare this chicken biryani first of all i'm going to heat oil and ghee then i'm going to put this whole spices then i'm going to put this chopped onion now i'm going to add this whole spices then i'm going to add this chopped onion red onion try to use red onion red onion will give nice taste and color to so this biryani instead of yellow and white onion start it nicely until they get brown color then yeah, now i'm going to add this green chili crushed ginger and garlic start it after we will add chopped tomato I'm going to add the chopped tomato and salt Chop it until the tomato is smashed then we will add mixed ingredients Masala, chili powder, turmeric powder, and coriander powder. And soft coriander leaves and mint leaves. Then I am going to add yogurt. Mix it well and reduce the flame with it. Now I'm going to add chicken pieces. Mix it everything together. Then I'm going to lay this for next 10 minutes. Now I'm going to add the lime juice. I'm going to close this pan. Wait for next 10 minutes. Okay, let's check. See, it cooks now. Now I'm going to turn off the heat. Then let's start the rice process. Here I didn't add water. You know this all water is from chicken as well as yogurt. Now I'm going to close this pan and turn off the heat and check the salt also. We are going to we added the salt before that is only for this curry. Heat water in another pan. Now I'm going to add salt. This salt is for the rice. Now I'm going to add the soaked and drained rice. I already soaked this rice to, for 20 minutes, past 20 minutes. Now I'm going to add this rice. 
rice started floating this is the time i'm going to turn off the heat and i'm going to drain the rice rice also ready and curry also ready let's start the layering first i'm going to place the chicken curry on the bottom see it's very simple and easy to make no need to worry about the consistency and water first the chicken and the curry little then I'm going to place the rice see the rice part it's very easy to make do the layering the same way rice chicken curry rice chicken curry that's it this is a microwave safe bowl you can use the aluminium the pan also the oven safe thing now I'm going to place the chicken curry now I'm going to place the chicken curry do the same thing rice chicken rice chicken spread it evenly so when we'll take the rice it comes with the curry and the color also we can get now I'm going to place the rice again do the same thing and in between preheat the oven for 375 degree Fahrenheit it's ready now now I'm going to pour the saffron milk on the top just heat the milk and put the saffron in that so you can get this uh, yellowish color whitish yellow color and I'm going to do one more thing this is the pan so the chicken curry pan I'm going to add a little bit of water then I'm going to just rinse this now I'm going to pour this water also now I'm going to close this pan with this aluminium foil it's ready now I'm going to Place this uh, bowl, the oven tray inside the oven. Now I'm going to set the time 375 degree Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. Let's wait. It's ready now. Leave it for 5 minutes, then we'll open it. Now I'm going to open this. Now I am going to mix this uh, biryani taking from the bottom see how it's fluffy can you see the individual grain it's not sticky see here our first class chicken biryani is ready to serve now you can serve it with any kind of raita or any kind of gravy or even um, you can serve it with eggplant brinjal gravy also or you can serve it with tomato jam try it yourself send your valuable feedbacks and like this video and subscribe my channel we'll meet in next video thank you